on everybody? General G here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing Valheim Hearth and Home. We're going to start a new character. Let's see. Okay. No hair. Oh, we got to pick a nice... We got to pick a cool Viking hairdo here. Played a couple times just trying to get an idea of what we're doing. Okay. We're gonna do that one. We're gonna start a new start and fresh out. Let's see what, how this game goes. World Warrior, I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay. Bosses, I recognize you. Oh, he's right next door. Okay. This is our map. It's awfully big. Let's see. Yes, you can. These magical stones were scattered throughout the land, the lands by Odin as signposts <clears throat> pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekthir. Ekthir? Your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before attempting to defeat him. Alright, you got it. Let's see, first thing we need to do. 
nice meadowy area, area to uh, set up a base of some sort. So we'll probably head over this direction. This way, I think. Oh, look, there's an old house anyways. I'd like to set up something a little closer to the water. Make sure we're headed the right direction here. There might be something in here, though. You never know. Stuff, but we can have extra. Hey, why am I? Oh, there's a hornet's nest. You know what? We might just die right off the bat. Well, my life is down to five. If we meet anything, and I mean like anything, we're gonna be dead. <clears throat> Let's see. I need to find some supplies here. Deer. If we run into a boar, oh man, we're gonna be. That's what you call SOL. Hey, lizard. A stone here. Drop the hammer and, a, and an axe. A little bit, not much. I'll have to find a nice spot to. Oh, this is cool. Alright, here's some food. So, my life will stay at five, I believe. Maybe if we sleep it'll go back to 25, but we can also eat food. So it raises our health by 7 and our stamina by 20. And you can stack at least 3 things that I know of. You found a snack! Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long, you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. So you see that this raspberry or strawberry, whatever it is, it's going to last for 10 minutes. Look, our health is just not that good. I'll try to avoid everything here so we don't... You can... What do you have to say, dude? It's so full of information. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Okay. I already have some of these things before. We're not going to harvest all the food. So can we craft anything yet? Okay. We can craft a hammer, but we need a little bit more wood to do it. To make an axe. So let's do that. Okay, we can craft the axe now, so let's craft that. That way we at least have a, a decent weapon and something to chop down trees. Okay, so for now we're just gonna... That looks like a nice spot over there. Over there in the distance. Looking for a nice open area that we can make a... Uh, we'll come back and read that sign. I'm, I'm too worried about getting attacked by boars or something. Or anything, really, because we really don't have any help. We'll need this stuff later. We'll go over that after we get to that point. And what do we need to build the hammer? We need three wood and two stones. We have the stones. We need a little more wood, so we need to go find some branches. Okay. Well, here's our nice little buddy that wants to pick on us. will follow us for like ever. I mean, even the boars will follow you. I'm gonna have to turn around and probably take the axe to him. Okay. 
our first battle here. Get out of here. Get over here. What a scary cat. Oh my goodness. Fine, run away then. I'm gonna chop some wood for now. Oh, now he wants to come back. Probably gonna go get some friends. Okay, so we have enough wood to, to craft a hammer. And we're going to. This is a nice little peninsula here. Okay, there's some lizards. For now, let's make a little hut right here that we can hide out in. Something that we can kind of isolate. Dude, do you want to fight or not? Because you get some certain things from these guys. Okay. Let's craft a hammer real quick. That way we can make... We can start constructing a hut. And food. Oh, I hear the bird. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He wants to talk. Alright. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This in turn will enable you to construct other things. Okay. Hey look. Another guy. These guys are pretty easy at first. It's really just... The first five minutes trying to find a spot to... To hide out in. Alright, let's get a little bit of wood here and we'll start building a hut. So the first thing we need is a workbench. We're gonna get some of these trees that are already dead. These lizards are pretty easy to fight, but I don't I don't know how I feel about fighting two of them. Oh man. This is cool. certain things like torches. Get up and keep it there. Okay. Let's see. Just build a temporary hut and then we'll start building our and we might find a better spot, so build a little spot for now. And then we might find a better spot to build a, our stronghold. But I feel like that peninsula is pretty cool. Work with that. Build the fences all the way around the whole island and then block it off right there. And then we'll start exploring our world. So let's see, we need a crafting table. Let's find a nice, nice spot to set up here. A flat spot, preferably. So we can Nothing really flat here. Let's see. I don't really like being this close to the forest, but we'll do it. Okay. We built that. And he goes back. Okay, now we can build all kinds of different things as far as wood structures go. Start by placing a little bit of a floor, and really we just need somewhere to get out of the rain. It's kind of nice too because you can 
as you place these in the right spot, usually they'll snap. They'll snap in place. Usually, this is a little bit uneven. <laughs> All right, this might not be the best spot. But where is is the question? Let's try to build a wall and see if that's enough. place for us to hide out in. For now. Hold on, bird. So we need wood. Okay. You want to talk now? The workbench allows you to crop complex items as well as giving you access to lots of lots of more building pieces to construct with them. Okay. That works for me. So we need more wood. Our health is regenerated. Back up to almost 30. I'm gonna just start right here and drop it in. The first thing you want to do is get a get a roof over the top of your that branch go over the top of your uh, workbench because you need you need a roof over it in order to use. Like I said, I'm relatively new to this game, so what I'm thinking is build a castle here, and then eventually, yes, get out of here. Eventually, we'll build a uh, maybe some farms. I'm assuming you can farm, but I haven't gotten that far yet, so we'll see. And then we'll well, we can have our own food, I guess. So, see, it'll tell you whenever your food's ran out. So we could eat another bite. Okay, let's do that. On. Do we have pants on? Nope. We just have a tunic. Oh no, don't throw it. We're not gonna be new this year. I was just trying to get him. I was just trying to move it up. Move it there. Keep our clothing on the left side. And our... So right here, I was just gonna show you this. To use the workbench with a crafting station, it needs a roof. So as you can see, our axe is starting to show signs of wear and you can repair that at the at the workstation but you need a you need a roof. This isn't gonna work. Maybe if we put a door there. Nope, see this is a not a very good spot to do it. But oh well. What we can do is come in here, well, not kick it, but we can get our hammer and take these down, get the resources back, and just move. Oh, we needed that crafting station just to take it down. Okay. Well, let's leave it there for a second. Or something to level the ground. 
have that yet, so let's just make... Well, this is all I need. Much, just a little hot man. resting now. Oh man, it's officially night. tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and mani manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. Uh, yeah. We are figuring that out. Thanks, Bird. Well, 
there's our first four. We didn't get a good hit on this, but we can craft stuff from the... We can craft stuff from hit the skin. We'll need it to make a bow and to make a, a spear. why we need walls bro. Keep the gray doors out. Oh my gosh. See, we're already jacked. Uh you can we're just busy right now. So we're gonna actually end up having to run for now. Probably spend the night out in the wilderness here. Cause I don't have the ability to kill those big guys yet. They're destroying our hat on our hut, so. Well, well. Let's talk to him. There he is. Yes. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seek shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Well, we did. We had all that stuff going for us, and then guys we could eat another bite so. all right let's kill us one of these lizards over here get a little bit of meat and then we're just gonna find a little spot. I don't know how much wood we have. Maybe we have enough to build a campfire. One stone. Okay. So once daylight comes, we'll hopefully be able to go back to our... our house. Or at least our temporary dwelling. Can we craft? Okay, good. And we can craft this. So. Let's go ahead and have a seat here. I mean, it's not perfect, but at least we're not. Oh my god. Don't step in the fire, boys. Well, let's cook some meat. And keep an eye out for these guys. Oh yeah, we're resting. We're sitting by the fire out here in the middle of nowhere with monsters running around. It's a good day. At least we have some meat. Okay, we're just gonna hang tight. I guess we can go gather some wood since we're not like super cold or dying. Probably attract the, the monsters. So we must be close to the black forest. I don't know if we were. Here comes somebody. We were already getting attacked. 
got to be close to the black forest. See, here he comes. Oh, can't I just rest in peace? Get over here. rest for a little bit. Keep an eye out for the for the whatever those are, the brutes and the the ones they spit stuff at you and yeah. We'll see those again tomorrow I'm sure. At least on the next day. Well, at least we have a nice moon out. We can look at some of the things that we can craft here. Well, nothing without the... Well, we need to put that boar head up in our house. Let's see. So, if you get the meat here, you can see that we have the some raspberry already in our health and it's there for six minutes. But you can stack these. So, if you eat, a, eat some meat, see, it's going up. And that one lasts for 20 minutes. This one gives you 25 health. So, you can eat that. <clears throat> and then our health will go continue to go up and then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable about maybe addressing some of the issues we're having over there. Might just run back and start leveling out that peninsula and just building there and using that one over there just to... Okay, well, here's day two. Let's get going. Let's get our hoe here. We'll go start leveling and then as we go We'll run back and repair our items. Ooh, dirty work here. Is this 
fog and the weather in this is it's really pretty and really beautiful. Adds to the effect. Okay, before we get going too crazy, let's we've got a, at least some level spots here that we can. So let's go back and get our we'll repair our tools. Look, we even have a spot right here where we can put a bow. Okay. Let's go back and repair our tools and then we'll we'll bring our uh, all that wood that we used on this over here and we'll set up a hut. Let's get some more meat. so we can carry the wood back. Good idea until everybody showed up to kill us. So. Let's use this. Repair everything we have. And then take it all down. So. I don't know if that's the black forest over there. We gotta do build a little place to hide out and build a wall around it to keep those guys out. Let's go ahead and build a crafting, a crafting station here. On our reasonably level ground here. And we'll build. I'm just going to start with a hut over here. build a wall and a roof around this guy real quick. Just so we don't have to make like three axes. I really don't want really to even bother with that. Put a temporary roof up. That way we can build our 
repair our tools. Should've put those all the same way. We'll satisfy all those OCD people out there. There we go. Okay. Blow this down a little bit, get the dirt off of our... Off of our hut here. And we are already in need of some wood. is too exposed. Okay. Well. we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Be a little bit of slow going at first, but I'd say we're doing pretty good. We haven't even died yet. So that's good. What do you want? Top of you and hurt about the graphics. This is really cool. I mean, just the effects of the sky and the fog and, yeah, no complaints. Super cool. Well, some people probably want a certain level of realism, but you know what? This is a cool game. This is cool. But really, that's what it's about. If you're not having fun, then that's the point. I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun too. Let's get some of this here and then we'll go... Put up a few more walls. We could get a little bit more. We're only, we're not even halfway with the good holds here. So. And the axe is broken. Come on, don't make me use my hoe. Oh, and it's too exposed, too, huh? Yeah, I mean... 
We get a little bit more stuff we're gonna go exploring I'm pretty sure that over there is probably the black forest because there's mines there and because those big monsters are really coming out, so. which is not it's not a bad thing we're gonna need stuff in that in that forest but I don't want to run across a troll I mean I'm barely barely fighting off the Great horse, so whatever they're called. I'm barely fighting these guys off, much less the trolls. Yeah. What are you rolling? Go ahead and cut them both down. This tree's caught on that tree. There we go. so far the best thing to do is to stack meat. That's the best I've done. So if you stack deer meat, boar meat, and the neck meat, you'll get your health to level down good. But I would like to maybe craft a bow, so all in time. Yeah, these ones are too hard, the other trees. Too hard for the stone axe. Okay. We've got quite a bit of wood. Let's go back and 
see if we can't build a hut. It's kind of cool how it raises it up when you're leveling it. I wonder if you could raise it up to like so tall that these guys couldn't climb up it. Seems like I had. I can, I can run up it. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's. Make a little spot for us to at least get fully rested. More four meters in there. Cool. All right. Well, that's a start, anyways. We just need to build a roof. I can do this properly, so I don't want any. Don't judge. This is just to get us through the first couple days. That's okay if we... Let's see. Go ahead and take this down. Put the door here. Place there because the, the effects of it actually go through the wall, I believe. So, see, we have the fire comfort. No, I don't know what we have enough to. We need to build a bed. So that way we have a safe point. Let's turn it this way so we're kind of right next to the fire. Oh, hello, bird on my bed. Sleep the night away in your bed and, and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It's good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. It's not bad advice. So, okay, can you get off my bed? It's kind of dark. At least we'll be able. There we go. Okay. Sleep is a river and the dreams are living fish. You wake in the morning with your net empty. <laughs> I 
We're still pretty exposed, but we're gonna chill out here for a minute and make some more food. Alright, let's add some fuel to this fire. And today, we're gonna put up the, the wall around this place to keep out the lizards at least. Because sleep does not actually improve your life skills here. Okay. That's good to know, because I'm still almost dead. I mean, if something came up, I'd be. as well. Out of luck. Also, from experience here, if you leave your food on this cook station for too long, it'll burn, and then it turns to charcoal. So, you know, I mean, you can use charcoal, which is nice that they, you can use your burned food for things that you need, but um, I need food for now, so. We'll get this food and we'll, we'll prepare our stuff and we'll go continue to gather some more wood and we'll find some berries so we can at least have three items stacked on our health. That's all the quick stuff we have here. I like to try to keep a little organization here. Keep the food on one side. Go ahead and put another. Put a pile of wood up. And let's repair our items. Go ahead and pick up these and then we'll drop them again just so that it adds them to them. Okay. Alright, let's go find a couple berries. It's beneficial to run around jumping, and so I'm not just playing the sound of music here when I keep the mountains. I'm trying to upgrade my skills, my jumping skills, my run skills. Ready, dude. I just woke up. My net was empty. Don't piss me off. <laughs> Almost got us there. One thing I don't know, so as we chop down these trees, obviously they probably won't grow back. But I am curious, like, all these little trees here? So, like, this is a... This is a beach as well, so after, over time, do those trees, you know, grow up to be full-grown trees again, so our forest continues to replenish itself? I know at some point you can actually plant trees yourself too, but... I'm just... I haven't gotten that far. So we're gonna find out. Oh, where did that stuff go? Wood cutting skills are getting better. Alright, alright. Man, you know what? I think we haven't we've done pretty well. We haven't died once. We've come very close. I've not died once.
get taken out by some trees here. Drop this one down and get it crashing on my head. Ah. Close. Enough to start a little bit. Go ahead and grab a couple berries here. Get our health up a little bit. Okay. I think. I know they could probably, these guys could probably come up right here. Oh, that would be cool. I wonder if we can create a moat. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do it. That is so... that's cool. Alright, that's it. We're gonna create a moat. It's gotta help. I mean, see, I can still climb up it, but it's gotta help with defenses. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Big is too big here. Let's see. Go ahead and level this off. I just want to set out a kind of a perimeter for a wall and build it up across this way and block off our peninsula. Keep out the lizards. That is cool. I didn't know we could do the moat thing. That is going to be fun. We can come over here and actually make the walls steeper. Oh no, you got to get in the water. Make it deeper here. So I think 
think I'm going to build the wall straight across from here. Let's see the field Oh, we're outside of the workbench. Okay, so our workbench only... See that circle there? Represents where the workbench reaches, so... We'll start on this side. Like I said, I think they can come up this way, but we're just going to play around for now. Nice. Put in a couple doors. Oops, that's backwards. That is cool. Kind of funky for this. There's a gap under that wall that's just hanging there. So go up just to here. Whoa. Not that much. Well, I guess maybe we're gonna have to. stone to build it up. Okay. Well, learning. Still need to get the lizards out of here. Oh, you will die. 
quick. Whatever it's. Cool. Well, we can build this up. Kind of square it off. Come out this way. My goal is to come over here and make a little inland place where we can pull our, our boat in eventually. Level off this knoll here. Awesome. This is going to be this is going to be cool. We got 30 wood. Let's go ahead and go get some more. And whenever we go, whenever we get to where we can kill uh, this guy, Ekthir, Ekthir, we will get um, antlers that we can use to break these rocks. So until uh, until we get to that point. And this is going to be that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to look cool. Okay. Let's just go get some more wood. Keep it up. Like I said, it's not the same. I'm not just doing the sound of music here. So if you look right here, it's your... Run and your jump, jumping, blocking bows, all these different things take um, you know, skills or whatever, so you can up those. So I'm not running around singing. The hills are alive with swarms of monsters. Because they kind of are. <laughs> the hills are alive. They are. Those monsters are literally made out of. Like mud and resin or something. Looks like they're made out of wood. Oh. oh my god. That just took me out. exploring until you're ready because if you're not ready when you die you lose all of your stuff out wherever you died at that's where all your stuff's gonna be so if you get deep into that black forest and those trolls find you and they stomp on you and they kill you all your stuff that you've gathered is gonna be there right there under the trolls feet so let's go over here and we'll take this fireplace down I don't want to for them, so. I don't know if the fire attracts them, but we don't want that to happen, so we're going to take this down. Pick up all the extra supplies and take it back to home, because it's, it is turning nighttime. Nice, look at that. That is our own Viking stronghold. And we're going to name it that. Let's get inside first, just in case something shows up. Stronghold. That's base. Numero uno. And we don't have any meat to cook, but we can go get some real quick because I don't know if they can climb up here, but we can.
the start. This is a good start. Oh, no, don't walk forward. That was my bad. Cook a little dinner. I can hear you lizards. Okay, well, we're going to take a rest, and we're going to call it good for today's episode. If you like Valheim, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe on the channel. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for another episode of Valheim. Thanks for watching.